Welcome back to Suvita Everything guys. Today the first appetizer in the channel. I hope you enjoy it. Check it out. For today's cook, I'm going to be using these beautiful short ribs. Since this is going to be a long cook, there's no chances of searing it after, so I am pre seeing these beautiful ribs. So let's do it. You can really season it with anything you like, but here's what I did. Remember exact amount in the description down below. I started off with salt, black pepper, granulated garlic, and a very powerful Brazilian pepper, pimenta malagueta. I wanted to try something different today to see if there's any difference. So instead of rubbing all the spices throughout the meat, I decided to just lay it on top because the meat will be braising for such a long time. And let me tell you, it worked perfectly. Be cooking these beautiful short ribs at 140 degrees Fahrenheit for 48 hours. Now, all there's left to do is cut them in cubes and bread them up. Check it out. It is very important to season your flour or breadcrumbs. Remember exact amount in the description down below. I started with salt and pepper and Cajun seasoning. I've also decided to do a dipping sauce, which is basically mayo, Dijon mustard and dried parsley. Now they are ready to be flash fried and what I mean by that is my oil is at 480 degrees Fahrenheit. This will ensure not to overcook them. I'll be frying them for no more than 30 seconds. So let's do it. Angel, we got a little beef croquetas or beef appetizer or short ribs, but I have no idea what I'm about to call this, but I hope it's gonna be good. What do you think, Angel? It's the Guga appetizer. It's the go yes, that's right. It's the Guga appetizer. That's what we're gonna call it. Are you ready to try it? Did you make this in your home cooker? The home Guga cooker? Yeah, the home Guga cooker. If you have not seen Guga Foods, make sure you check it out. This guy here calls me the Guga cooker. The Guga cooker, bro. Yeah. All right, I enough talking. You guys gotta get one too. Where, do, where did you buy it? The flea market, bro. The flea market? <laughs> How much was it? It's like $1.99. <laughs> $1.99, guys. It's cheap. Cheap. $1.99, guys. Coming to a flea market near you, the Guga Cooker. Anyways, enough talking. Let's try this thing, yeah? All right, go for it, Angel. I want to know your honest opinion. I want to know if it's good. Is it a good idea or a bad idea? I got the dipping sauce. You don't have to go with the dipping sauce if you don't want to. Go for it. Let me know. It's crunchy on the outside. Really, really tender meat. Really tender. Mm -hmm. How and about got the... some spice to it? Oh, you feel it? Some pepper. You feel that Brazilian pepper? Some pepper in it. <laughs> Let me give it a try with the dipping sauce. Is it good? Do you like it or no? No, it's good. It's good. I want you to tell them the truth so that they. If I want you to tell them the truth, so if it's good, they give it a try or not. Should they try it? Yeah. It's I mean, good. I'm going for seconds, so it's always good when I go for seconds. No. Wow. Let me try it. Ooh. Wow super tender inside the inside is extremely tender right angel 
Oh, yeah. I think we can just pull it apart, probably. Oh, and I'm going against the grain right now. Against the grain, everybody. That just falls apart completely. Look at this. Wow. Against the grain. Look at that. Ooh, this is good. I'm telling you, you gotta give this one a try. This is a good idea. That 48 hours at 140 worked out perfect. And the dipping sauce, you don't even need it. But if you're interested in how to make it, check it out in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little appetizer video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you wanna see more appetizers and I'll make a bunch for you guys. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. And remember, if you're interested in anything I use, everything is in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, bye-bye.